God is good, His mercy endures forever. Let us still look to God in prayer. Let us thank God for God has given one more day in our life. And He is there for us all the time. The Bible says, wherever two or three are gathered, I am in the midst of you. So, He is in the midst of us. We are very few in number, but even then, more than three people we are gathered here. And the one who has given the promise, he will never go back from his promises. He will fulfill his promises. And I surely believe that he is in the midst of us. Let us praise and thank him. Let us close our eyes and look to him in prayer. Lord Jesus, make me more like Thee. I know I am a sinner, but You are a gracious God. You have shed Your precious blood, and You have saved my life, and You have delivered me, and You have redeemed me. Thank You, Jesus. Make me more like Thee, Jesus, make me more like Thee. Give me a heart that filled with love and make me more like thee. Will you sing along with me? Make me more like thee. Jesus, make me more like thee. Give me a heart that filled with love and make me more like thee. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit, we praise you, O Lord. Hallelujah. Let us welcome Holy Spirit in the midst of us. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Loving and Heavenly Father, we thank and praise You for the precious time You have given to us to look to You in prayer. Thank You one more day You have given in our life. Thank You for the 40 days of fasting. Thank You, Lord. Every day, we are meeting in your holy sanctuary for your precious word to be heard, O oh Lord. Even at this time, this evening, thank you for the grace you have given to me. Share your word of God with the people and to me, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you. And we welcome you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. The Holy Bible says that what you are speaking, you are not speaking. The Holy Spirit who is in you is speaking to us, O oh Lord. You speak to us and we will hear a lot. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Romans 12, 2. For today, the word is given. Uh, Romans, according to Paul's letter, Romans 12, chapter. One is transformation. And the second one, to renew our minds. Here Paul discuss your relationship with the Lord in the verses 1 and 2. No? So in 2 Corinthians, okay, let us see what's given in the Romans 12. 1 and 2. Therefore, I urge you Brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and ple pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. And second verse, do not conform any longer to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, and pleasing and perfect will. So God is expecting us 
our worship and our relationship with God to be pleasing and um, perfect will. So here we see uh, in 2 Corinthians 3.18 But we all unveil face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image. So as we are worshipping Jesus Christ, as we grow more spiritually in Him, so our nature will be transformed like Jesus only. So that's what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 3.18. Are being transformed into the same image. So He is a glorious God. So that glory is reflecting on us. And from glory to glory as by the Spirit of the Lord. So the Spirit of the Lord He is in us and He is making us to look and to transform us more like Jesus Christ. And the Spirit of God transformed our life by renewing our minds in 2 Corinthians 3.18, what we have read now, but cannot do this unless we give Him our body. If you say, I am in Jesus Christ and I live as I like, it's not the transformation and it's not the renewal of the mind. But uh, when we, uh, we cannot do this unless we give him our body. Because the body is the temple of God. Every day the Holy Spirit is dwelling in us. When you give yourselves to God in spiritual worship, you became a living sacrifice to the glory of God. So whatever we do, we are doing for the glory of God only, by our behavior, by our character. When we are in Jesus Christ, we want to reflect the uh, Jesus in, our, in us. Surrendering to God is not optional. Many people, they say, yes, I surrender myself to Jesus. But they live like the worldly people only. But it's not like that. Surrender is not the uh, optional, but it is essential. So once when we accept Jesus Christ and we want to be transformed and, and to renew our mind, we must be like Jesus only. We must surrender ourselves. That's a essential, surrendering to Jesus. It's not optional, but it is a essential. And God justified. I mean, in the Romans, uh, Paul has given much importance for the uh, salvation and the faith, how we should be like that, no? So God justified us through faith alone. Last, uh, I mean, the chapters before, we read how we are just
in holy life i don't say all the i don't say the sayings of the sin or i don't talk with my mouth i don't hear that and all we can say but here paul is specifically mentioning about the renewing of the mind so the mind is the right place start so when we want to transform and renew the mind is the uh, place first place it is to start for that only <coughs> jesus christ he took the crown of crown on his head no because he knows very well that with the mind we can go as astray as we like so sometimes um, in my case no as i'm praying suddenly my thinking it will go oh whether i uh, i ask the gas or not my thinking will be go like that so for that first thing we have to um, start from mind that's why jesus christ not only that silly thing but sometimes people they say they are in christ but they do as they like no that god doesn't want so for that only jesus christ he took the crown of crown on his head and he bear all that and he uh, corrects for when we are going wrong and uh, when we feed our mind on bible and the second thing of the bible so the bible is the very important for the christian life and whatever is a trust right pure the word is true and the word is pure and the word is uh, became more when we are in the bible when we feed the mind with the bible we are more like christ like so when others see us in uh, definitely there is a yes and this is the other that we think uh, i yes it gets to be seen by god so when we see them but is a gracious god and compassionate god and when we go astray and when we commit mistake is ready there to forgive us when we go to him and ask for his forgiveness definitely he will forgive but he says not to sin again you know so for that the bible the word of god so we know that uh, his way is best and his will is perfect and uh, <coughs> bible is we have that bible automatically our faith will be increased in jesus christ and uh, it acts only on faith so whatever the problem or the situation comes to which we cannot handle immediately on one side we may be discouraged but on the other side the faith what we have in christ jesus he will strengthen us but definitely jesus christ will help us so the word of god alone is so powerful enough to remold whatever you have done in the past we have done i have done in the past but the word of god is so powerful to remold our uh, mind and change the pattern of our life to be like christ and the romans 12:2 uh, we read that uh, do not conform any longer to the pattern of the world but be transformed by renewing of your mind then you will be uh, test and approve what god's will in his good pleasing and perfect will so to know that uh, god's will in his good pleasing and perfect will so god is expecting that you know uh, in tamil buddhi ulla aradhanai so he is expecting that worship from our spirit so what are the steps to be transformed for renewing our mind so there are some steps to renew nobody is perfect nobody is best in the world
but we are human beings we are uh, sometimes we fall wrong in prayer and in our thoughts but god is there and what are the steps to be transformed for a new god mind one is unworldly unworldliness that is 1 corinthians 7 31 and in hebrew 11 24 the bible says unworldliness it's not belong to worldly it is personal so when we have that we must have the faith and uh, hebrew 11 24 we read by faith moses when he had grown up refused to be known as the son of pharaoh's daughter so you know very well the story of moses so when he has grown big as the uh, son of the pharaoh's daughter so he said uh, he has seen the agony the israelites are going through so to save them to deliver them from the bondage of uh, that egyptians so he doesn't want to be called the son of the pharaoh's daughter that is the unworldliness that character we must have we must have then another verse 1 john 2:15 do not love the world or anything in the world the bible clearly says do not love the world so all the so many attractions so i mean people are so rich and everything what they can do they can but we should we need the money for us but don't love the world do not love the world or anything in the world the love of the father is not in him who loves the world so we need the love of the father in us so let us not love the world or anything in this world so one person he went to singapore uh, i mean servant of god so there the people they took him to a uh, i mean big shop very prestigious shop and they asked him to buy one watch so he took one watch and he said how much 6000 oh like that he got the watch there and so costly watch they offered but he didn't uh, see the money it's only watch so he, at last he took some smaller i mean simple watch and he did so when we have jesus christ in us we need the money but do not love the world and and the or anything in the world the bible says and second one worldliness unworldliness second one worldliness that is james uh, fourth four you adult trust people don't you know that friendship with the world is hatred towards god anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of god so god is saying very clearly um, you adult trust people don't you know the friendship of the world is uh, hatred towards god god doesn't like the uh, life of the world anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world become uh, an enemy of god we see the people no i mean by the grace of god we are saved and we have that uh, assurance that definitely once we finished our race on this earth the kingdom of god is opening for us that assurance we have but the people who do not have the salvation and those are living in the sin adultery and uh, addict to alcohol all types of sin they are not coming out of that sin but what will happen to them god doesn't like them no but he wants them to be saved that's why he came to this world and he gave his life no so but uh, let us live the life which god likes us and matthew 16:26 what good will it be for a man if he gains the whole world yet forfeit his soul or what a man give in exchange of his soul so if we uh, gain the whole world and if we lose our soul what will be what gain we are getting the holy bible says that is worldliness so let us not to be conform to the world and let us uh, look to jesus all the time and let us say uh, i mean uh, be uh, the salvation keep the salvation with fear and trembling
and the third one spiritual renewal unworldliness worldliness and third one spiritual renewal so every day our spirit must be renewed that is psalm 51 very everybody knows that psalm no when david sin then he came to know about his fault he pleaded with god what he said create in me a clean heart he says that his heart is not clean so because of that only he sinned against god no uh, create in me a clean heart o god and renew a steadfast spirit within me do not cast me from your presence or take your holy spirit from me that's what the bible says so every day when morning comes when we look to god in prayer so let us plead with god that jesus create us in a create us a clean heart in us and renew a steadfast spirit within me and do not cast me out from your presence and take take your holy spirit take not holy spirit from us so we need the holy spirit in us and he will set right us and he will guide us and isaiah 40:31 we read uh, but those who hope in the lord will renew their strength they will soar on wings like eagles so those are waiting for god and uh, they will renew new strength and uh, they will soar on wings like eagles and they will r- run and not grow weary they will walk and not be faint that's what the bible says so uh, in isaiah 41:10 so as we read so let us the night or in the morning when we wait at the feet of the lord let us seek for his strength and um, we have that hope when we have that the strength of god he will make us to soar our wings like eagle then fourth one god's will spiritual renewal and god's will submission to divine call so we are all god's children and we are uh, every day we are fed with the word of god and we are obeying the word of god and we are doing the will of god so submission to divine call psalm 40 verse 8 the result of inward law i desire to do your will oh my god your law is within my heart so god is giving some commandments when we go through the word so here david says your word your law is within my heart that jesus i want i have that inward law and i desire to do your will oh my god so every day we must uh, give our hearts to jesus and we uh, must pray that that i desire to do your will when we commit ourselves to do his will definitely he will never leave our hand whatever the problem we are facing he will deliver us from all our problems and psalm 143 verse 10 prayer is essential for every human being who is in jesus christ who receive the salvation from jesus christ prayer without prayer we are lo- like only the vegetables we will have the life but no salvation nothing but when we have that spirit of prayer every day in us we will be victorious people like jesus christ only teach me to do your will for you are my god may your good spirit lead me on level ground that's what the bible says teach me to do your will every day we let us um uh, give our hearts to jesus when we are praying that jesus teach me how to do how to do your will and for you are my god so you are my god when we say that word will he leave us no he will never leave us no and matthew 26 42 christ is the perfect example for us no and jesus prayed second time so i mean we are in this uh, Uh, fasting days and very shortly we are going to uh, coming for good friday and easter so that night jesus christ he took his uh, disciples into the garden of gethsemane 
and he took he believed and he trusted those three disciples and he took them to along with him to some distance and he asked them to pray so he went uh, apart from them and he was praying and when he came to see them they were sleeping no so jesus says uh, prayed second time again what is his prayer he knows how uh, what type of death he is going on the cross the shame and the insult is going to face when he is going through that path so one side he wants to give his life for us and the other side may god has pity on me to remove that cup from me he wants that so he is asking second time three times he prayed second time again he said my father if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away unless i drink it you want me to drink this cup let me drink if it is not possible for this cup to be taken away from me it may i drink it and it may your will be done so he is committing himself to the will of god that your will be done not my will so how many of us when we are praying for some important issue so what we are praying that jesus it is your will if it is thy will please have uh, let me have the answer for my prayer like that let us pray you no know? as jesus he is the perfect example for us and he walked before us so that he wants us to walk in his footsteps and lastly um, matthew 1250 establish a divine relationship with jesus christ one is uh, uh, submission to divine call and prayer is essential and christ is the perfect example now establish we must have the divine relationship with jesus christ and that also again he says uh, matthew 1250 jesus says for who ever does the will of my father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother so who ever this world when we do the will of god that we are his children he i am his sister i am his mother says like that in heaven is my brother and sister and my uh, mother and lastly we are going to hear about the seven words our savior jesus christ on the cross 